Welcome along, and it's Chris Brown here from superfitbusiness.com, and I want to ask you a question. Do you have your 2016 dialed in precisely of what you want to achieve? Do you have complete clarity about your business and its direction over the next 12 months or not? If you don't, then tune into this video because I'm going to help you with the strategies, the tools, the techniques that I use personally at this time of year to help me get clear on the year ahead. So for the last 12 months, did you have a goal, a dream, a desire, something that you wanted to achieve? Yet for whatever reason, you just didn't get there. Maybe you planned out your goals this time last year and for whatever reason, over the last 12 months, you didn't make them happen. So I want you to reflect for a second, grab a pen if need be, and write this down. What did I say I was gonna do in 2015? What are the things that I said I was gonna do in 2015 and did you actually do them? And Right now, as you think about the year ahead, do you have clarity as to the direction of your business? Do you have complete clarity as to the direction of your business over the next 12 months? If not, then I'm gonna share with you some strategies that are gonna help you do so. So what I want you to really think about right now, and I really encourage you, if you don't have a pen, to write stuff down, because I'm gonna go through some really deep, in-depth strategies and tools, techniques, and tactics that I use personally to help me grow forward. And the reason I wanna share this with you is because if I cast my mind back like three years ago, four years ago maybe, I was in a position where this time of year I started to get a little bit anxious and nervous and I really wonder whether my business was gonna grow over the next 12 months and whether clients were gonna leave me over this period of time and it was kind of a nerve wracking period where everything kind of winds down a little bit, all of the hard work and momentum that you've built up over the last 12 months starts to kind of fade away. And then coming into January, you know it's gonna be a busy time for you in your business, but really, from my experience, the majority of people in this situation will wait until January comes and then they'll start planning out the year ahead. And in my opinion, you've already lost the battle if that's the case. You wanna be hitting the ground running. So I take the whole of December to really start thinking about the strategy and direction of the business. I start thinking about the model that we've run over the last 12 months. How's our marketing been? Has it been effective from where we were to where we wanna to get to? Did it work? Did the plans that we had in place, were they effective? We gotta look at the numbers over the last 12 months and say, okay, the stuff that we've been placed, the marketing funnels, the offers that we were putting out to the marketplace, the backend conversions, where was the gap? Where was the weak link within my business? Did I get from where I wanted to go? And did I get to where I wanted to get to? And that's the real big question you gotta ask yourself right now. And really, if you have some data, I want you to really look over the last 12 months, the marketing that you've done, all of the advertising that you've done, looking at the investment in advertising that you've made versus the income that increase that you've made. And whilst we're on that point, what was your revenue in January 2015? And what is your revenue coming into January 2016? How much have you grown over the last 12 months? Did you grow as much as you'd like to? If not, then we've got to plan differently moving forward. And I guarantee you that some of the stuff I'm going to share with you in this video are things that you haven't really done before. And once you do this, you'll get complete clarity. So what are the things in your life right now that are kind of open loops, open doors, if you like? The, the projects that you started in 2015 but never finished. Do you have half-written manuals? Do you have an online training program that you started to create that never got finished? Do you have training programs for your gym that you want to market and push out there but you just don't know how? What are the open loops? Do you have certifications and courses that you've signed up to but never logged into the membership site or you've never opened those books that you've bought this year? What are the, all the open loops? I know I have a list of 10 or 20 books that I said I was gonna read this year that are still stacked up in a big pile. And for me over this Christmas period, just really looking at, okay, these books that I bought, which ones are gonna be the most important for me for the 12 months ahead? So the very first step that we do, and this is number one, so write this down, we close the doors and close the open loops. So are the projects that we started but we don't really wanna continue with? Or are there something that we could just shut down right now? What's taking our mind space? What's taking our energy? Yet isn't gonna be something moving forward because I know entrepreneurial ADD, business owner ADD, what happens, you start a little project over here. If you're a creator, somebody like me who loves creating stuff, you're enthusiastic, passionate about what you do, you start a lot of projects. You start this project here, you start this project here, you start this one here. What ends up happening is you're spinning all of these plates, you get to the point where you're not really sure what's gonna work, so you just scattered around everywhere. 
I want to give you an analogy right now for this. Imagine you had a two liter bottle of water with two liters in, right? You're carrying two liters of water, but within one bottle. So it's pretty easy to carry. Now let's say, say for example, we have four two liters bottle, four two liter bottles of water, sorry. But in each bottle, there is only 500 mils of water. In. Now we've got to carry four bottles to quantify the same amount of water. And this is kind of what happens in business. People have all these different little projects going on, trying to make more money, but they end up diversifying what they're actually doing and diluting their message. So instead of having one liter, uh, one bottle with two liters in, they have four bottles, that's it, four bottles with 500 mil in each. And I want you to get clear in 2016 and think about what is the one thing I need to master? So number two is, what is the one thing I need to master over the next 12 months? And maybe that's focus. Do you have complete focus in your business? Or are you that entrepreneurial ADD? Are you all these different projects going on? What projects can you shut down? And then what is it that you need to master? So number one, close the doors. Number two, what project, what things do you need to master? Number three, what do you want your lifestyle to look like over the next 12 months? There is no reason for you to continue working on the same path that you've been working on for the last 12 months. If you're in a position right now where you're working too hard, you're overworked, underpaid, and you don't feel like things are going in the right direction, this is the perfect opportunity, the perfect time to create something new and different, a redirection of your business. So looking at the model that you're serving your clients with, is it the best possible model that you could? Or is it something that you've just acquired over time? Is your pricing where it should be? Are you afraid of increasing your prices? Would you like to increase your prices? Would you like to do something different? Would you like to create an educational kind of component to your programs so you can educate your clients a little bit more? Do you want to work with them more in a life coaching capacity or would you prefer to work with them more in a training capacity? All of these questions are things that you have to answer. Do you want to work with them one-to-one -one in training or would you prefer to work with them one-to-many? Or would you prefer to work with them with an online consulting type of, um, I guess, fusion, where you have this fused model of offline and online? There's an infinite number of possibilities. So you've got to think about, number one, closing those doors, close those loops off, shut down those things that are taking your time and energy. Number two, you've got to look at what, are the, what is the one or two things I need to master in order to push my business over the next year. I know for me, last year, it was about getting real focus. So I was one of those people who, even though I was really successful in what I was doing, I'd start a lot of projects all the time, and it ended up taking me so much time to implement these projects and get them going that it never really brought the fruit that I was hoping for. But when I got clear and I got focused on one single thing in one direction, everything changed. My profit went in a straight line as opposed to me taking these kind of zigzags everywhere. Different projects, different programs, different products, different services, this, 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 this. I just got super clear on the one thing that I wanted to do. And again, we're doing this within every business that I operate. I operate a couple of different businesses and we're redefining what we do, tuning it in and getting focus. So number three is how do you deliver what you do? What is the model that you're delivering right now? Is there a different way you could do things? Are you living the perfect life that you want to live? What is your lifestyle for the, the year ahead that you want and beyond? And number four, has your marketing been effective? Analyze the numbers, look at it statistically. How many clients did you take on in January, February, March, April, May, right through to December? When were the busy months? When were the quiet months? When do you feel like you're gonna to have to devote more attention to the business? So for example, you might have noticed that the year might have went like this. Why was that? Was it that you went on holiday? Was it that you took time out? Was it that you got burned out? Why were all these things dips and troughs and peaks and you were really successful one month and the next month you're down here and this incongruence and this inconsistency is something that you've got to address. So for the next 12 months, looking at your marketing, how is that gonna be? Is it gonna be planned and strategic? Do you have a clear marketing plan in place? Do you understand what you need to do every single day of the week in order to grow your business? Do you know specifically what your marketing campaigns are gonna be for over the next 12 months? The next point I want you to really understand is what revenue do you wanna generate? What income do you wanna generate from your business personally and also collectively? Because you gotta understand that if you're working in your business right now and you don't understand what revenue you wanna take home personally, yes, your business income could increase, 
and the overall revenue and the turnover of your company might increase. However, does your personal income grow with that? Because there are a lot of people that I speak to on a daily basis that don't really get clear on that. They're not really sure. They don't think about when I increase the size of my business or I get a facility that that's incurred costs, how can I make myself more profitable? If I bring on a member of staff, how can I make sure that I'm more profitable? Instead of just continually growing the business but growing the expenses, we wanna look at what is gonna directly impact the profit of the company. The next thing we've gotta look at is what are the limitations that I have right now? What limitations do I have right now? What are the areas that I feel I struggle with? I know a lot of people that I start work with, their technical knowledge is terrible. They're not great with computers, they're not great with technology, and it's a huge barrier that people experience. And I want you to understand that if you have those barriers and like barriers on a daily basis and you're experiencing struggle and frustration when it comes to the technology side of your business, that's something that's gonna hold you back because as we move forward, 2016, 2017, 2018, we're gonna be more ingrained in technology. So if you don't have basic skills to build basic websites or web pages that you wanna to put together, then guess what? You're gonna get left behind because the people in your area are gonna have some technology skills, right? And you've gotta develop those skills. So what are your limitations? What limitations do you have? Do you wanna know more about coaching and mindset? Do you wanna know more about training, nutrition? Do you want to know about how to help people create a bigger transformation in their life? What are the skills that you feel limited in? What are the skills that you feel limited in? And then ultimately, above and beyond everything else, what is the vision for your company? What's the direction? Are you congruent with the message? Do you have the right clients that you love? Or do you have a bunch of clients that aren't the ideal clients? This is your opportunity right now to sit down and think about all of these things, all of these questions that I'm throwing out there. It's your time now over this period to really think about and redefine and reshift and recreate the model that you have. You can redesign your whole self in a very short space of time. And I want you to understand that if you just allow yourself to go through this grind of training client after client after client, never really think about your direction of kind of the position you're in right now and where do you truly want to get to, then guess what? I know what will happen. 12 months from now, 24 months from now, 36 from, months from now, you look back and you'll say, you know, all of this work that I've put in for the last few years, like where has it led me? You'll have clients who don't value you. You'll have a business that doesn't provide the profit that you want. You'll be working more than you feel you should. And you'll spend more time with clients than you do with your family. Now, if you have kids or you have young children or children on the way, then these are things that you've really got to think about because at the end of the day, you have a limited amount of time to make an impact in people's lives. And I truly believe that each and every one of you watching this video right now have the ability to transform lives. However, if you don't get this stuff right, you don't start thinking about the direction of your business and the people you want to serve and the people you want to help then you're gonna end up in a position where you're burnt out, stressed out, frustrated, overwhelmed, unclear. And that's not a nice place to be. I've been there myself. Many people that I speak to on a daily basis have been there. So take the time out, watch this video over and over again if necessary, and start to really understand what does it take to make 2016 the best ever year. Take a day, two days, three days, four days out of your business and go through this video. Look at the strategies, the techniques, the tools that we've given you in this video. Close those doors. Look at what you need to master. The best experts and the best people in the world who achieve the biggest success focus on mastery. Mastery. Not starting fires everywhere. Not starting new projects and new programs. Not starting new things in hope. They focus on mastery and focus with a single thing. What one thing do you need to do? What limitations? What's the goal? What's the vision? What model do you want to create? What things do you want to do with your clients? How do you want to help them? How do you want to serve them? What are your best skills? What are your limitations? Think about all of these things. Take time out, a day or two days. Get yourself away if need be. And let's redesign the future for the year ahead. Let's redesign your business for the next 12 months because you can do it. There's not a reason out there why you can't start to achieve more success. There's not a reason out there why you can't recreate a business or redesign a business. You aren't stuck training the clients that you're training right now. You aren't stuck with the business that you have right now. 
you have the opportunity to redesign and recreate and there's not a better time of year to do it than now. This Christmas period is a time when things are going to wind down, things are going to slow down, but that's a time for you to speed up and really think about your strategy and your vision and your future. Because if you don't do that, guess what? Somebody else will. And that somebody else will be a competition who will sneak up behind you and come and overtake you. And that's not what we want, okay? So if anything that I've said in this video has compelled you to make a difference to your life, to make a change, make a shift, think about something differently. And there's a voice inside of you that right now that says, you know what, I need help. I need help to put this stuff in place. Then please reach out to me via email, via our Facebook page, send me a private message. Whichever method or means it is, reach out to me and I can help you, right? I can help put this stuff in place. And I'm gonna be opening up a limited number of slots for people who wanna get clear on their 2016. I'm gonna be doing this completely free. I'm gonna take time out of my own business because I'm passionate about helping this industry. I don't just want this industry to be something that kind of could be great but isn't. I'm here to change the way that things are done. I'm here to change the way that people run their business so that we can make a bigger impact because I can't change people, people's lives all on my own. However, together I believe we can make a big difference to people's lives, okay? so. Guys, if anything I've said here has compelled you to reach out, then please do so. If there's a voice inside of your head right now, even if it doesn't make sense, that's saying, you know what, I need help. Perhaps you've understood you need help, but coaches and mentors are expensive, or I don't have the money for that. You know what, I was in a position like that in my life too once. And those times when I thought, I can't afford a mentor, I can't afford a coach, I can't afford somebody to help me, those times actually cost me more money than just taking the plunge and working with somebody. So whether it's with me or somebody else, it's clear that if you're watching this video from the start to the end, and if the things that I'm saying here have compelled you to kind of make a decision to change the way your business is done, you need help. We have the strategies, tools, techniques, tactics to grow business from 800, 1,000 per month, right over to 15, 16,000, even 24, 25,000 like my clients have. Myself personally, my business is touching on a million pounds per year. And I haven't been able to do that by winging it. I haven't been able to do that with, by being unclear, without clarity, without a strategy. And guess what, you won't do it either without any of those things. So right now, I urge you to reach out, send me a message, send me an email, can contact me on Facebook, whatever it takes. Reach out now and we'll schedule a time to speak where we can go into your business, really dig into it. What worked in 2015? What didn't work? What things are great? What things are suck? And then we'll plan out 2016 to be the best it could possibly be. Okay, Chris Brown, superfitbusiness.com. Take care, bye-bye.